So what's the best home fitness equipment for men if you're looking to get in great shape and stay in great shape? That's what we're going over in today's video. I'm gonna try to cover everything, dumbbells, bands, barbells, even the fancier stuff like tonal, tempo, and some of those smart home gyms. And what I'm gonna do in this video is show you exactly what I recommend to my clients in order of importance for those guys who work out at home and want to either build muscle, get stronger, lose body fat, or a combination of all of those. If you're new here, I'm a personal trainer and an online fitness coach for men all over the world. And I prefer to train at a gym, but I do have home fitness equipment myself because during the pandemic, here in New York, gyms closed down. So I got myself some equipment and I trained at home for a good year or so. And I've also coached dozens and dozens of men over the years who train at home with various pieces of equipment, ranging from literally no equipment at all up to the fancier stuff like tonal, Peloton, Tempo, stuff like that. So I have a ton of experience programming workouts for men who are looking to improve their fitness and their physique. So let's get into it. What's the first number one piece of equipment that I typically recommend to my clients who are looking to get in shape from home? I'll be honest, it's always the same answer. It's not even really close. The number one piece of equipment I would get is some adjustable dumbbells. Let's be clear, I'm not gonna leave any affiliate links for you down below. I'm not trying to sell you one thing here in this video because if I was to recommend a certain brand of dumbbells and then link it down below, there might be an ulterior motive there, right? So hopefully you can take my honest opinion at face value and a pair of adjustable dumbbells, there's hundreds of brands out there. You can check on Amazon. The ones that I have here, I'll tell you, I have the Power Block dumbbells, which are great. I recommend them to everybody. I also have the Bowflex dumbbells, which I don't think are as good, but they're still very good and they get the job done. The reason adjustable dumbbells, in my opinion, are the number one piece of equipment you should invest in for your home gym is because they're the most versatile and really they give you the most bang for your buck. I think you can get dumbbells uh, adjustable set ranging from five to 50 pounds for something like 300 or $400 on Amazon. And those are probably gonna last you the next decade or two. It seems like a no brainer to me. If you were to buy individual dumbbells, a set of five, a set of 10, a set of 15, set of 20, up to 50 pounds, it would, I believe, be a lot more than just a few hundred bucks. And the reason dumbbells are the first tool or piece of equipment I recommend is because you can pretty effectively train every muscle group. You can't say that about some of the other things on this list or some of the other uh, options out there for equipment for your home. You can train your shoulders very easily. You can train your chest very easily. You can train your arms, your biceps, your triceps, your side delts here, your rear delts. You can get in a decent enough leg workout, you know, hitting the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes. The one thing that you really can't do with dumbbells that is a gap is some sort of vertical pulling movement, like a pull up or a lat pull down of some sort. You can't really do that movement just with dumbbells, but everything else you have covered, you know, decently effectively. Could you argue that you could probably train triceps a little bit more ideally or preferred with a, a cable compared to dumbbells? Sure. But even with dumbbells, it's very, very effective. And there's a number, there's countless exercises you can still do for your triceps and for every muscle group. The second piece of equipment I would get after you have your adjustable dumbbells is an adjustable bench. These are super cheap, $100 on Amazon, $150 on Amazon and they add even more versatility, even more things you can do with your dumbbells to train even more effectively. Now you can do flat dumbbell chest presses instead of doing them on the floor, which you would be doing if you didn't have the bench and only had the dumbbells. You can now do incline dumbbell presses for that top part of the chest. You can now do seated overhead shoulder presses with the dumbbells. You can do other seated exercises like seated incline dumbbell curls, like incline uh, tricep skull crushers. You can even turn around on the bench, put your chest on an incline bench and do chest supported rows, which in my opinion is way better than just doing bent over dumbbell rows uh, without the bench. 
So for barely any money or a very small investment, you can now add all these different variations to using the dumbbells to maximize the use of them. Now you might be asking, well, Jesse, what about resistance bands? Can I use those instead of dumbbells? Resistance bands are good and I like to use them for warming up, but the truth is you're just not going to get the same quality of a workout, the same type of resistance that you can get with free weights like dumbbells. And you know what I was saying before about how you can train pretty much every muscle group pretty decently effectively with dumbbells? The same can't be said for bands. Maybe you could train the rear delts and do pull-aparts with the bands and that trains the rear delts pretty effectively. Maybe you could do some sort of tricep extension with the bands and, and that would be decently effective for the triceps. But I can't name too many other exercises that are gonna be like really effective for training other muscle groups. Maybe you could do some curls with the bands. You'd have to do a ton of reps probably. You'd be there all day doing curls until it got hard. You could probably figure out a way to do like banded push-ups, wrap the band around yourself and try to do push-ups with some extra resistance. But again, that's really the only chest exercise you might find yourself doing with bands. I hate to say it, but there's a reason why you can get bands for $10 on Amazon and the dumbbells are a little bit more expensive. The third piece of equipment I recommend to my clients if they have both the adjustable dumbbells and the adjustable bench is some sort of cable or pulley system. Now they have a bunch of these on Amazon that are all different variations and include all different things. But if you have the room and the space for some sort of cable or pulley system, that would probably be a good addition to the free weight dumbbells. It will often allow you to do that vertical pulling that I mentioned before, some sort of lat pull down variation. It will allow you to train like triceps and do um, extensions and reverse flies or uh, chest flies or a decline cable chest flies if you can get a dual cable or a dual pulley system. It offers some value for sure that the dumbbells alone don't really offer and it allows you to have a little bit more versatility with your training. So you can do chest flies with dumbbells, of course, but it's a little bit different with the cables. It feels different. You can do reverse flies uh, with dumbbells for the rear delts, but you may have a preference of doing it on the cables if you had that equipment as well. It gives a little bit more optionality to what type of curl you wanna do, what type of tricep extension you wanna do, and it can make it a little bit more fun. Now, when I say cables, or a pulley system, this could be any form of that. It could be the bare bones, cheapest option you get on Amazon for a couple hundred dollars, all the way up to the most advanced, most expensive option, which is tonal, or one of the other options that's out there that's like five grand uh, for essentially the same type of piece of equipment. Now the companies that offer the really fancy equipment like Tono, I think Form was one offering one. I think there's maybe a couple others. These are, you know, more expensive pieces of equipment that the technology is incredible, right? It's like digital technology. It's very, very impressive. I have clients and I've had multiple clients over the years who have Tonal and I program workouts for them on Tonal. And that's totally fine too, but I don't recommend having that as your main form of resistance training, the only option for strength training. And that's often what people see it as, right? They see a really expensive premium product like Tonal or Form, and they think it's a uh, one shop, uh, you know, that one product's gonna solve all for them and they can only rely on that. The truth is you can't train every muscle group effectively with a cable system. There's a reason why I put adjustable dumbbells as the number one choice. I've programmed a workout on Tonal. I've programmed hundreds of workouts on Tonal. It's not easy to get a leg workout in effectively and in a preferred way on just a cable system. There's muscle groups that are totally fine to train on cables, like the shoulders, the back can be okay, the chest can be okay and some of the more accessory work like lateral raises, curls, triceps, but it's certainly not something I recommend as your primary piece of equipment. And in fact, the clients that I have who have had tonal in the past eventually ended up buying some adjustable dumbbells as well so that we could have a more effective training program and, and have a 
uh, more versatile approach to hitting their goals. Now, here's one exception to this list of the top three pieces of equipment I would get. If you're someone who uh, space is not an issue, you can have as many pieces of equipment as you want. And if you're someone who loves power lifting or it's really important to you to do barbell back squatting or traditional you know, uh, deadlifting with a barbell or any type of Olympic lifting, of course, you might prefer to invest in a barbell and get a bunch of plates, right? Free weights to add onto the barbells or some sort of squat rack of some sort. I've even seen companies, there was one on Shark Tank that made a squat rack that was very clean and convenient and it would fold up and go against the wall to save space and then you could pull it out easily and it was a squat rack. So if that's you, if you really want to be doing those type of movements and that type of training, then of course, maybe you decide to go with a barbell and plates and a squat rack instead of the adjustable dumbbells. That's totally fine too. It turns out most of the clients that I work with are not wanting to do Olympic lifting or power lifting. They just want what's most convenient, what's most effective. And they often have goals of losing weight, getting leaner, uh, you know, seeing some muscle definition, building a good body that they're happy with that makes them feel good. So while we're on the topic of a barbell and plates, let's talk about Tempo, which is another like smart home gym that offers like, uh, you know, a couple barbells, a couple plates that you add onto it. I've worked with one client in the past who had this, and I have to say it was incredibly inconvenient having to load plates on and then take them off if you're doing some sort of superset. Like I said, going with the barbell and plates option is really if you wanna be doing tons of squatting and deadlifting, in which case tonal probably isn't the right option for you anyway, because you're gonna want more plates than that. You're gonna want a more traditional barbell. You're not gonna be storing you know, a few plates in a, a little cubby that they give you. I'm trying not to speak for everybody. I'm sure there's people out there who really like their tempo, so if that's you, I'm sorry. But to me, it doesn't seem like the most effective or convenient option when it comes to what home equipment you can get. Now, if space and money really isn't an issue at all for you, then maybe you look into getting some more traditional pieces of equipment that you might see at some gyms, like if I was building out a nice big home gym, I would probably get a hack squat machine or a leg press. I'd probably get myself a trap bar and some plates to go on that. Possibly one of those hip thrust machines where you load the plates on the sides. The last piece of equipment I'm going to mention, which would probably be in the top three or four that I didn't mention before that I recommend you get, is some sort of pull-up bar. Whether you get one of those dip tower stations that you can do dips and pull-ups or just some very simple bare bones pull-up bar. If you're at a fitness level where you can do pull-ups, you know, at least a few pull-ups, that could be a very good addition to some adjustable dumbbells and an adjustable bench. So that's all the equipment that I'm gonna talk about here in this video. If there's any specific pieces you want me to talk about, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're watching this as someone who trains at home, or even if you train at a gym and you just thought this video would be interesting, and you like the idea of having me fully design your workouts, whether you like to work out four days a week or five days a week or three days a week, if you think it would be beneficial to have me coach you and design your programs and adjust them over time, as well as your nutrition to make sure that you're seeing the best possible results to build the best body you're capable of and really take your fitness and your health and your physique to that next level. Consider checking out my Modern Man Coaching Program. I'll leave the link down below in the description because that's what I do for my clients. And if it sounds like something that might be helpful to you, feel free to check it out and I'll be happy to see if I can help. Thanks for watching the video. Hit subscribe if you aren't subscribed already because I make new videos just like this every single week. And I'll catch you on the next video.